I am going to dive in to this article that has come out recently. So, cases of leprosy have increased in Florida and the southeastern United States over the last decade, according to this new report. Leprosy officially called Hansen's disease is a rare type of bacterial infection that attacks the nerves and can cause swelling under the skin. Now I know from when I was young, I was told that armadillos can carry this and they can carry it, but it's not likely for them to transmit it into humans. Further reading, the new research paper published in Centers for Disease Control and Preventions, Emerging Infectious Diseases Journal, found that reported cases doubled in South East United States over the last 10 years. And with all the times that are going on in the world and over here, it's very interesting that this is getting more intense in this time period. Central Florida, in particular, has seen disproportionate share of cases, which indicates it might be an academic location for the disease, meaning leprosy has consistent presence in the region's population, rather than popping up in the form of one outbreak. And this is very important to know, and very crucial, that it's very essential for people to keep healthy and take a lot of vitamin C. And elderberry supplements are good for health. And also perhaps other traditional and natural methods would be better. I am going live this week and I will talk more with an expert about other alternatives and what to do with health and situations like that. According to the National Hansen's Disease Control Program, further reading the article I'm doing right now, 159 new cases were reported in the United States in 2020. Florida was among the top reporting states, the report said. Central Florida, in particular, accounted for 81% of the cases reported in Florida, and almost one-fifth of nationally reported cases. Although leprosy can spread person to person, it's not known precisely how. Now there are theories that I have heard that it could spread through coughing and sneezing and things like that. The disease does not spread through casual contact like shaking hands or sitting next to a person on a bus, according to the CDC. Rather, scientists' current thinking is that bacteria gets transmitted via droplets and infection and infected person's coughs or sneezes during prolonged periods of close contact. As I just said, theorized. That's what the article is saying. I think that is a very good point, and I do agree with that. And they're also saying contact with armadillos, some of which are naturally infected by leprosy, causing bacteria, may be another way to get sick. As I said, that they do carry it, it may not be likely, and they are unlikely to transmit it to humans, but I wouldn't take the risk of hugging one necessarily. <laughs> Further reading in the article, the recent report described a particular leprosy case in Florida, a 54-year-old landscaper who had no known contact with infected animals or people, had not traveled to any countries where the disease is more commonly found. On the screen, you could see the person's leprosy symptoms. There have been 15 cases of leprosy in Florida this year, the majority of which were in Brevard County, according to NBC affiliate Welsh, Wesh, W 
S-H. Dr. Nicole Ivine, Chief Hospital Etiomologist and an Infectious Disease Physician at the University of Florida, told Wesh that leprosy can sometimes present like a rash with pigmented, scaly skin lesions. A person can also have disfiguring noodles on the face and hands. The main difference between a rash and leprosy is the loss of feeling in the affected area, she said. This is a very old disease. You know, I know that from the Bible, where Jesus cured the lepers. And it further says, if you have something like a few centimeters on your arm, you can't feel it. It's going to be different from a typical rash, which is like going to be itchy. Iovine told Wesh. The authors of the new report suggested that doctors and other health professionals should think of leprosy as a potential diagnosis for patients who have spent time in Central Florida. Travel to this area, even in the absence of other risk factors, should promote consideration of leprosy. The report said, Leprosy is a treatable patients typically take a combination of two or three antibiotics for one to two years, left untreated, nerve damage from infected infection can lead to paralysis and crippling a person's hands and feet. Damage that occurred prior to starting treatment cannot be reversed. Yeah, and that is frightening. That certainly is. And people need to take the right health precautions. And as I said, I'll explain more about this in the future live stream. And you can comment your thoughts about this below. Do you think that there's more to this? I think that it's certainly very suspicious. <laughs>